Mr. Noisy by Roger Hagglebus. Mr. Noisy was a very, very noisy person indeed. For example, if Mr. Noisy was reading this story to you, he'd be shouting at the top of his voice. And the top of Mr. Noisy's voice is a very loud place indeed. You can hear it a hundred miles away. For example, when most people sneeze, you can hear them in the next room. But as to when Mr. Noisy sneezes, you can hear him in the next country. Now, this story starts when Mr. Noisy was asleep in bed in his bedroom in his house, which is on top of a hair. He was snoring, and as you can well imagine, when Mr. Noisy snores, that is a snore worth hearing. It sounds more like a herd of elephants than a snore. And Mr. Noisy's alarm clock went off. Mr. Noisy's alarm clock sounds like no other alarm clock in the world. It sounds more like a fire engine. Mr. Noisy wake up, and so too did all the people who live in Wobble Town, which is at the bottom of Mr. Noisy's hair. Later that day, Mr. Noisy decided to, that he had to go shopping. He went outside of his house, shutting the door behind him. Bang! The door wobbled, the house wobbled, the whole hair wobbled, wobble time wobbled, even a bird flying high above wobbled. And Mr. Noisy walked down the hair. Crump, crump, crump! He walked into the baker's shop. Flash! went the door as he opened it. Bang! as the door as he shut it. I like a roll of bread! To Mr. Noisy to Mrs. Crumb, the baker's wife. Mrs. Crumb trembled and sold him a loaf. Then Mr. Noisy walked along the street to the butcher. Clump, clump, clump! He walked to the butcher's shop. Crash! went the door as he opened it. Bang! went the door as he shut it. I like a piece of meat! Boomed Mr. Noisy to Mr. Bacon, the butcher. Mr. Bacon trembled. And sold him some meat. After birth, Mrs. Crumb and Mr. Ba- and Mr. Bacon in the street. We must do something about Mr. Noisy being so noisy, she said. Absolutely, replied Mr. Bacon. But what? I know, said Mrs. Crumb, and she whispered into Mr. Bacon's ear. Mr. Bacon smiled a small smile, which grew into a broad grin. Mrs. Crumb, he said, I think you have the answer. The following day, Mr. Noisy went again shopping down to Wobble Town. Clump, clump, clump. He went into Mr. Crumb's shop. I like a loaf of bread, he boomed. Sorry, what did you say? And Mrs. Crumb pretended to not hear. I like a loaf of bread, Mr. Noisy shouted. Sorry, said Mrs. Crumb, putting her hand to her her ear. Can you speak up, please? I like a loaf of bread, roared Mr. Noisy. Can't hear you, replied Mr. Scrum. Mr. Noisy gave up and went out. Mr. Noisy went into Mr. Bacon's shop. I like a piece of meat, he boomed. Mr. Bacon pretended to not notice. I like a piece of meat. Mr. Noisy shouted, Did you say something? And Mr. Bacon, I said I like a piece of meat! roared Mr. Noisy. Pardon? said Mr. Bacon. Mr. Noisy gave up and went out and went home and went to bed, hungry. The day after, Mr. Noisy tried again. He went into Mrs. Crumb's shop. I like a robe of bread! he boomed. A what? asked Mrs. Scrum. Mr. Noisy shop started shouting at the very top of his voice. A loaf of... Then he stopped. Then he thought. And then he said quietly, I'd like a loaf of bread, please, Mrs. Scrum. Mrs. Scrum smiled. Cer- certainly, she said. Then Mr. Noisy went into Mr. Bacon's shop. I like a piece of meat, he boomed. Did you say something? 
asked Mr. Wiggum. Yes, I did! Shouted Mr. Noisy at the very top of his voice. I said I like a... Then he thought. Then he thought. And then he said, quietly, I like a piece of meat, please, Mr. Bacon. Mr. Bacon smiled. My pleasure, he said. So, carrying in his bed, bread and meat, Mr. Noisy set off home, up the hill. Clump, clump, clump. Then he thought. Then he thought. And do you know what he did? He tiptoed. A tiptoe was something Mr. Lucy had never tried before. It was fun. Mr. Lucy arrived at his front door. He put out his hand to open the door, and then he thought, and then he thought, and then, do you know what he did? He opened the door very quietly. He stepped inside, and then he shut the door very gently. Heavily and gently were two things Mr. Noisy had never tried before either. That was fun too. And do you know something from then until now? Mr. Noisy isn't anything like as noisy as he used to be. And do you know something else? The people of Wobbertown are their line. Nice. Especially Mr. Scrump and Mr. Bacon. And do you know something else? Mr. Noisy had learned how to whisper. The end.